To start with, we're going to learn a strumming pattern to help us get the chords on this side. Later on, we'll learn a picking pattern to use with it. The strumming pattern we're going to use is to go down with the index fingernail, up with the thumbnail, and then up with the index finger on the fleshy side. The counting will be one, two, three, four. So there's nothing on count three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Stop the video there, do it slowly until you can get it smoothly, and then you're going to start adding in the chords. We need only three chords for the song, an A minor, and then a C, and a G. Do that over and over in any combination until you can get to those three chords smoothly. Take it as slowly as you like and gradually speed up. When we come to the song, we're going to do a four bar introduction using the A minor. song like that it's time to start looking at the picking pattern. The picking pattern that we're going to use for Jolene is based on the idea that the thumb is going back and forth between string three and four. If we're counting three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. That continues very steadily throughout the whole song. We are then going to add these other strings in between on count two and three. So we're going to hear Is string three, four, two, three, one, four, three, four, two, three, one, four, three, four, two, three, one, four, three, four, two, three, one, four. Do that in slow motion until you can get it going smoothly over and over again in a cycle. The chords we're going to need are A minor, C, and G. We're not going to worry about how many of them or in what order. For now, we just want to be able to change between them. So try four of them on A minor. We have to do is try and change evenly between those. So very slowly, let's do two on A minor, two on C, two on G. Now, 
we want to do that ideally several times in a row before you try to play the actual song because some of these chords are only there for one bar. So we have to change very quickly, for example, from a C to a G to an A minor. Then we get to sit on A minor for a while, quite often. It's as we play the G that we will often find the fingers on the side go out. Okay, because we might put the fingers down in a different order from what we are picking over here. Take it slowly, take it without the music until you can do the chord changes smoothly. If you need to, spend some time just doing the A minor to the C. A minor to C. To C. Back to A minor. Back to C. Do the same from C to G, C to G, and then from G to A minor, G to A minor. You then have every possible combination. My dog thinks it's very boring. <laughs>
tempo 152. Tempo 168. Thank you. 